Hello everyone, Kid KR here, bringing you the combo video for the Six Samurai updated deck profile. It's going to be two combos, one's going to be a pure two card combo, the other one's going to be uh, two and a half. And then I'm not going to go into too much explanation, I'm just kind of going to go into it and I'll show you the step by step. Alright, so the first one we're going to go into is the two and a half card combo, which is Fuma, Diagram, Searchable, Searchable, and then a monster. It does not have to be Kageki. I'm using Kageki as an example because he's wind and you can do the whole wind thing, which is cool. So let's go into the field spell. Field spell, you're gonna pop Fuma. Fuma's gonna go to grave. Fuma's effect's gonna activate to summon your Kizaru. Kizaru will search you a six samurai card. So, and then your diagram is going to search you a true Draco or true King. So you're going to add this to your hand. He is going to add your Fuma to your hand. So there we go. So your hand is two wins. So you can proceed to summon your Draco Phoenix. And then Draco Phoenix, you use both of the wind monsters. You can use that effect if you want to banish top four cards of your deck, your opponent's deck. That's that's really iffy if you ever activate it or not because you could give them effects depending on what deck. So you can activate, so you get a six samurai's effect, which it matters what you search. So I'll just search uh, Hatsume here, and then you're gonna go here and here into your Noble Knight Isold is what you're definitely going to need. So Noble Knight will give you a search. Uh, we don't care what it is, so I'm just using Neo Connector as an example. So add that to your hand. And then we're going to go ahead, we're going to normal summon our Hatsume. Hatsume's effect is going to activate. You're going to banish here, and then you're going to banish one of your Fumas. doesn't really matter what you banish. You can banish whatever you want. I like banishing Fuma and Kazaru. Banish both of those, and you're going to summon over here your Kazaru. Kazaru will give you a search one more time. The search again is also important. It has to be your legendary shadow of the six samurai. So you're gonna add legendary shadow. And you're gonna activate Noble Knight Isold's effect by sending Moon Mirror Shield to your graveyard. Then you're gonna summon another Fuma from your deck. And then when Fuma is summoned, you can summon your legendary six samurai. I'm gonna go here into here, then you're gonna make your World Chalice, this card is too strong. Then you're gonna add your World Legacy Monstrosities. We're gonna leave that in the hand and we're not gonna worry about it for now. Then we're gonna go Legendary and Noble Knight. And this is the only reason why you have that Deco Talker. It is simply a stepping stone. So you're gonna go into Decode, then this card is a tuner for some unknown reason. So that equals eight. And then with that, you will go into your Savage. She has an effect when she goes to the graveyard, so you're gonna go chain one, chain two, however you want, whatever you think is more important. And then go ahead, he's going to attach Noble Knight there, and then you're gonna get a World Chalice little guard dragon right there, a world whatever. And then go here and here, and this is where you make the most boring Sarayuja of your life. Two material Sarayuja. And then you're gonna turn this little guy, this little guy that you got for free as a summon, into a great, great card. So you go into your Alfie. Alfie will get you your Darkness Metal from your deck. Darkness Metal goes here. Darkness Metal will summon you this little, what's his name again? Card Dragon, he's actually World Chalice Card Dragon. All right, well, now we know. So World Chalice Card Dragon. Then you will go here and here, and you will make your Agar Pain, and then you will use your Card Dragon to create your final card, which is a Pissy, or Pissy, Pissy's effect. You're gonna target your Darkness Metal again. You're gonna summon Darkness Metal. Darkness Metal is gonna summon your Guard Dragon one more time. So you've just successfully summoned that one card four times because of Yu-Gi-Oh. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna use here and here. 
Now you're going to make your erratic link. If you're locked into dragons, use the dragons, you're fine. And then from there, you're going to use your agar pain because there's two pointing here. That's going to make your abyss. You're going to give a one, two, three. And you're going to make the card that makes this combo possible, which is your guard. So from there, you can now use your world monstrosities. Monstrosity will target here. You can summon two level nines from your deck, which will be your true kings. They have to be different names from each other, but as long as they're different attributes of wind and fire, you're gonna go here and here, and you're gonna make your big true king of all calamities. He's gonna be your big floodgate. You're gonna use your guard dragon's effect to pop your field spell, and then he will summon from your graveyard a monster that was destroyed during this turn, which is gonna be your Fumo. This is actually really important. So from there, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna pass your turn. It's gonna be your opponent's standby phase. You're gonna tribute here, tribute for cost. You're gonna add your Fuma to your hand. So your hand's gonna be Fuma plus that. And then you're gonna summon from your deck your Goliath. So you're gonna have one, two negates, a floodgate, no special summoning at all, and then you can put a monster into defensive position if for some unknown reason they, they can't special summon. And then that is the better combo of the deck. It is just really strong. There's no real way to get over it. Um, if they have their, uh, their sphere modes, they can try to react to it, and in the end of the day, you're still going to have something because they need to get rid of Goliath. They don't want to be floodgated forever. So they want to get rid of this and then he's more important than savage so it's going to be all of this and then you're going to still have a negate you're going to still have a way to put into defense and next turn you have a neospatian and your fuma so if you can kind of get over it and this was a three card combo so theoretically you could still have a hand trap and then that is the three card combo so we're going to reset real quick and i'm going to show you the two card combo which is a little bit easier, and the board is just kind of a smaller board than what you do here. So it's just a little bit smaller. It could be as impactful, except it's, it gets destroyed by sphere mode completely. And then it is just your Kazaru, and then your one Kageki. So, He's searchable, he is not really searchable apart from Rota. So you just normal summon into your Kageki. Kageki will summon your Kazaru, Kazaru will search you a card. The one that you want to search is going to be your Shadow of the Six Samurai. Your Shadow? Secret? Whatever. You're gonna go into these two right here, and then you're gonna make your Noble Knight Isold. Esold will search you a card. Again, it doesn't really matter what you search. So you're gonna search whatever. I guess I'll search Neospatian because it might be important in some world. And then you're gonna get a summon from her by sending that Moon Mirror Shield to the graveyard. So you send that Moon Mirror Shield, you summon your Puma, then the Legendary summons with it. You're gonna go one and two. And that's going to make, again, the most abusable card in the game, which is your World Chalice. Your World Chalice will give you a search from the deck. In this case, you're going to search your Legacy Succession. It actually matters. So you're going to go to the Succession, then you're going to search, or you're going to summon from your graveyard. It has to be your Kazaru one more time. So you're going to summon your Kazaru to this zone, and you have Earth, Light, and Water. So you can't search anything too impactful, but you can search a Fuma, and it, it really matters what you search, because Fuma is probably one of the better cards. And you're gonna go into a slightly less bad Sarayuja, but it's still pretty bad. So you're gonna go into three card Sarayuja, and she went to the graveyard, so you're gonna be able to summon your little world challenge guard dragon, so you're gonna summon him here if you want. So you want to get that summon off, so you're just going to summon your Six Samurai right there. And that's actually really important for the combo, or you can't do it optimally. And then you're going to use your little guy again, and you're just going to play 
with your guard dragons all over again. So LP will summon your red eyes, red eyes will summon your guard dragon, then go here and here into aggro pain, and you use him again to summon the one that summons from your graveyard. You summon from your graveyard, and then from your graveyard, summon from your graveyard again. In this case, you're gonna go into the Heretic Link one more time. Heretic Link will summon here. You have two pointing here, so you're summoning the Abyss. Then here you go into one, two, three. That will give you your Boral Guard. And at this point, you haven't destroyed anything on your field, so you can't really do anything too big. But then again, this was only a two card combo. So you're gonna go into your opponent's turn. You're gonna activate your uh, Heretic Link effect by tributing it and then adding your Filma back to your hand. And then you're going to your ending board is your Goliath, your Abyss, and your card dragon. So you can negate one card, any card. You can put a monster into defense, he can't be destroyed, and you can have a Goliath in your graveyard. So this is a bad board. It's not as bad as one would think about it because you can still do a lot of things. But this is the two combos that we're going into. They're really simple. It's a really fun deck. I don't think it's high meta. It's not too high impacting. I went into a lot of tournaments with it. It was fun to play, but it wasn't that great. But if you have any questions, any doubts, want to add any more to the, anything else to the comment, like, comment, subscribe, share. We are still working on doing some more better stuff. So just uh, hit us up and we'll do what we can for you. And I'll see y'all in the next video.